Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. I am Lorianne, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium to give you all the messages that I receive for the month. <laughs> Excuse the smoke. And we are looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Cancer and Venus uh, as well. Um, this is all about love. We're looking at love, messages of love, whether you're in a relationship or you have somebody coming in that you feel a very deep connection with. And some of you, this is somebody brand new. We're gonna take a look now. It's really cute because before, if you don't know me, I receive my messages, I hear it, see it, feel it, know it. And then later in the, in the video, I'll pull out the tarot cards for you. But the message that they're showing me, it's really cute, is this little crab. <laughs> and this little crab going dit, 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 and walking around dit, 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 and then I hear I'm crabby so you guys might be a little bit grumpy or you might have been going through a little bit of a grumpy spell <coughs> what I'm hearing is it's more like uh, you were over uh, over emotional for some of you I'm hearing emotional so this could have been just going through the holidays and ending the year and celebrating the new year and feeling the low energy that we feel when we're coming into the very, very trip of January. So this is you coming out of this because here's this little crab going, do 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 It's really cute. I wish you guys could see what I see. My visions are really, really cool. But here's the thing, on the other side of the crab, there is water, and on the waterfront is a whole bunch of little crabs out there. So it's not that far of a walk, but it's far enough to make them look small, you know what I'm saying? So what that's letting me know is you're crabby because you may need to take a foot out of your home to go meet somebody. And maybe you don't wanna do that. Maybe you want you know an angel to go, here you go, wouldn't that be great if we all could do that, you know, and have love being dropped down in a diaper, you know, <laughs> not, no, not as a baby though. I like the stork delivering love. They're showing me that you have direct access to this person or people. Some of you, this is going to be more than one person where I feel you are going to take that step over the bridge, over the water. Some of you might even have water surrounding you and feel the fear and kind of do it anyway. You know my motto, right? Feel the fear and do it anyway. And it is a little irritating sometimes to have to do that, but you're going to really overcome a lot of adversities that you've been going through. And I feel for a lot of you, it's been the entire year, possibly decade definitely the year of 2019 where it feels like and I just I said this in another reading so check out your moon and rising sign as well where uh it was one thing after another after another after another it's not that you couldn't handle it it just feels like it was really exhausting so that could be why there's a little bit of grumpiness. Maybe you haven't been self-loving your own self, right? Getting out there and getting some rest and relaxation and just rejuvenating you in the sunshine. You're, you're crabby. You know, you go out in the sun, you're going to be happy again. You have beautiful energy coming from you, so I feel that you've really grown. And this energy is all you need to just boof, open up, and you're gonna step over that threshold. It's right there. So let me go ahead and pull the tarot and see what messages come through here. I, it was a really funny little picture, if you could, because I even hear the <laughs> of the feet. Like a cartoon, it looks like a cartoon. Now, I have to say, it's really quite amusing because I am getting the Four of Pentacles a lot. No matter how much I shuffle, I think it's come out in everybody's reading. But that, and it did in yours, but that actually makes sense because we just went through a solar eclipse, right? In your sign, releasing the old, breaking through these blockages and bursting open. And like I said, feeling tired. The Nine of Wands, feeling exhausted because of everything that you've been through. For some of you, this is you feeling tired and exhausted of the challenges of being blocked 
or feeling like your partner doesn't contribute. Maybe they're so focused on work, they don't have time for you, so everything's thrown on you. Adversities, one after the other after the other. Getting a little crabby, okay, because this is a lot of, of, this is a lot. When we are in the nine of wands energy, this is us putting up a wall, saying, okay, can't take anymore. This is us saying, look, I need my passion back on. Moving into, going in a direction where you feel very passionate. Some of you, you're going to feel this way because you're getting back out there. Okay, you're going to cross the water and you're going to meet somebody new. A little worn out, but you have enough energy to do this. And this is the right time to do it because you busted through. You really made some uh, huge breakthroughs in 2019. And I feel that energy is coming through right now. Don't worry about the low energy right now. It's going to come back. It's going to come back very quickly. We have the King of Pentacles. So again, you may have been focused on your work. Your partner may have been focused on their work. I feel for a lot of you, you're meeting somebody brand new. That could be Virgo's Taurus and Capricorn. But the person that you're meeting is a very solid and grounded kind of energy. This new person, very different from uh, the type of people that you have been dealing with in the past. Definitely contributing to your adversities in life, overall in general. But definitely in your love life, right? This person's being brought into your life to help you cross that threshold is what I'm hearing. So you don't need to be crabby anymore. And I don't mean that like in a bad way. It's cute. It's a little cartoon character crab. So it looks really cute. I know not all my visions are cartoons. <laughs> Some of them are really nasty. Okay, so you're, you know, you could be dealing with somebody that... They didn't have boundaries set. You and your partner may have had a very uh, bit of an unhealthy relationship dynamic or your past partners, you know, anyone that you were involved with. But this is about you, as I said, breaking through those blockages and understanding a new way of boundaries in your life, how to um, lower the wall, but yet keep your boundaries intact so that you don't get hurt along the way. Now, the seven of wands is taking action, standing up for what you want. Some of you, you're meeting somebody brand new, but for a good group of you, this is somebody you already know. This could be your current partner. This could be somebody you were in a relationship with or know from the past where I feel you needed to fight for them or they needed to fight for the relationship and they may not have and that could have wore the heck out of you really uh not getting completely satisfied in all areas of life okay creating that crabby patty kind of thing right so we have the Ace of Wands. This is a spiritual union for some of you. You're going to feel that spiritual connection to this person. This is about your passion being reignited and getting out there and being excited about life and raising that vibration because, oh boy, baby, you're getting ready to meet somebody new. Travel is definitely here. I see a lot of travel around some of you, which I've had in a lot of other readings as well. When you are ready, mm -hmm. here is the two of cups again. This is a soul connection. Somebody that could be an absolute life partner. When they left you, they left you feeling worn out, exhausted. I don't ever want to talk to them. I don't ever want to invest in them. I'm not saying that they were narcissistic or toxic and abusive. But the relationship was definitely out of balance and unhealthy. They are coming back a very different person. They wanted this now. Maybe they were focused on trying to rebuild their finances because, you know, when we go to somebody and say, I love you, I want to marry you, I have nothing in my pockets, okay, I have no home, I have nothing to give you, but will you marry me? Not many of us are going to say, oh yeah, baby, let's go for that, right? So, a lot of us know this and we start rebuilding our life and focusing on the money, getting that, that um, grounded 
in balance structure underneath them. So now they can come in and say, oh baby, I got something to give you. So this is really beautiful energy, but for some of you, uh, this is a new person and for others, this is somebody you know that I feel you were already in a form of a relationship. This could have even been the beginning stages of a relationship where it may have just started to get intimate and they ran away. Again, this is a deep spiritual connection with this individual. You're going to feel like you've known them forever. You're going to feel like uh, this person is home. This is home. It's beautiful. Now we are looking again at Capricorn, uh, Virgo, Taurus. I'm feeling Libra, very strong Libra energy. We have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, I think I've said Libra in the Cancer readings before. So I hope this resonates with some of you guys, okay? Now I'm gonna pull a Romance Angel card. If you like me, you like my style, please subscribe and click the bell. You'll be notified when I upload any postings. And those of you, if you're subscribed to me and you've been noticing I'm not in your feed, unsubscribe and then subscribe again and I'll fall back into your feed and click that bell and you'll be notified as well. Okay, you guys, it's really beautiful energy coming through. This is like a, it's like an emerging of you. It's like coming forward of, um, well, crossing that line. Like I said in the beginning of the reading, it's an emerging of you. It's coming to this place like I can do this, I, I can. Okay, letting go of the Krabby Patty attitude and saying, I'm going to just do this. Just get up and do it. And when you do, bam, here you go. A brand new beginning with somebody that is actually a, a, a very good partner for you. A fit. You fit. Doesn't matter whether you're soulmate, twin flame, doesn't matter. You guys fit. Getting to know each other. Okay. So that's what I see. You really uh, getting over this energy, like you got to get back out there. You're going to do absolutely amazing. You're going to stand out in a crowd. You really are. Now, if this is a person who is returning, get to know them first. Get to know them. Talk to them. Find out about their childhood. If you didn't know what color their eyes, find out what color their eyes are, right? You know, what is their favorite food? What do they have? What are they afraid of? Are they afraid of bugs? So getting to know each other and really creating a deeper bond than you had in the past. It's a different direction and it's moving you into this. Oh my God, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is a brand new beautiful partnership for you guys. So Cancer, I hope that this helps you. Have an amazing week and much love.